Um, today we're going to talk about a great command that you can use um, in Snowflake and other um, SQL databases. And what this command does, and I'll go through um, what we're saying here, and, and Snowflake has good definitions, so we can look at those. But, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take certain columns, and we're going to take them out of being columns, and make them into rows. Um, and so this works for a number of reasons, and I've had my own data quality things that I've done where um, I've used this. This example that they give you, it's a bit contrived, um, so it's a bit made up because I want to structure my, my table like this, but let's take a look at it. So it rotates a table by transforming columns into rows. That's essentially like the gist of it. Like everything else is going to be just more information on it. Um, so you see the syntax select from, right? And so you have your select from, um, and then you can have your unpivot. So you're going to transform these columns into rows. Um, and then you can do everything else you need for there. Um, and so let's just jump to the example that they have. <clears throat> so they have an example here where we create a table monthly sales. Um, and we have employee ID, uh, department right and then what they've done is that they've put the january sales into a column february sales into a column march sales into a column i don't know if that makes sense right like from a database standpoint but this is for our unpivot example right and then they've inserted the data into monthly sales um and so these are the values if you imagine doing a select statement on this monthly sales you expect to get basically this response back right now, this is three rows, and you have these columns. In this unpivot example, what we're doing, right? Now we have a lot more rows, right? Uh, we can see that uh, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rows, right? So for each um, for each um, area, we're gonna have for each row, we're gonna have four rows, right? Um, and the reason is because of how we unpivot here. So we're going to select everything from monthly sales. And we can do this with uh, a subquery as well. But um, so we're selecting everything from monthly sales, which is basically going to give us this back as a table. And now we're going to say unpivot sales for month in in these columns. Okay, so look at what happens here. So we say unpivot sales. This becomes this the name of the column. And then we say for month. This month becomes the name of this column. And then we specify the column names, right? This is really just specifying these column names up here. We, we sort of defined Jan, Feb, March, April, right? These column names can be anything. They should be of the same type, and 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 the reason why is because um, otherwise it won't work. Um, but they should be of the same type. And here we have all integers. So we are saying, hey, for each of these months, which represents columns, I want you to take it out of being a column, and I want you to stick it into this month, right? So now month it's going to be Jan, February, March, April, right? We have them across for everything else. And then I actually want you to take whatever value was in that column and put it in here. That value, it comes in here, right? And so now this is actually pretty interesting, right? Like now we have the information we need um, per, um, now we have basically instead of a wide table, right? So every, we have one table that represents my employee ID, my department, my the month it is, specifying the month, and the sales. This is really practical for a lot of different cases when you are trying to compare some information in a different way. Um, and this one really boils it down to, to the month and sales. So you now have more clarity on that. I can filter by month, uh, for example. Uh, I can say, hey, give me everything in January right um oh, do within my filter clause um and then i can do aggregations based on that 
Um, I could do other uh, other timestamp based uh, information or other date and time information. I've used this a number of times. Uh, it's really useful. Um, the, the columns that you don't include, right? So we're doing a select star, right? The columns you don't include on your unpivot will continue to stay here, right? So in, in this case, employee ID department, if I had other columns, they will continue to stay. And the only columns that will be rep represented from a column to a row will be the columns in my unpivot. All right, everyone. Well, I, I hope that was helpful. Um, please uh, click like, uh, please click, click subscribe. And as you all know, I focus all of these videos on the feedback, the questions, and what I am seeing on a day-to-day -day basis in the world of data. So come back for more. Let me know if you have questions. I am happy to answer those questions for you. Thank you. Have a good day.